for Mr. Fix-It, powered by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Good morning, Lou. So we're talking about plants this morning, right? We are. We're going to talk about um, your outdoor plants and the fact that right now they probably look pretty good, right? Uh, we've had some... Yeah. Uh, interesting weather but the thing is is that if you do a little bit of feeding now with what I'm going to show you you're going to be able to maintain the look of those flowers all the way through the end of September but what happens is if you don't do this you may things see things start to look a little sickly so let's talk about your flowers right now as you look at them outdoors you may see wow they're beautiful they're full they're uh really look nice we've gotten some uh consistent rain obviously hopefully you're watering them and I'm talking Talking about whether they're in a pot, they're hanging baskets, or even just in the ground. I have uh, three products that I think will really help you that um, are organic and really do a nice job. Now, the first one is this Espoma Bloom product. It's an all-natural product. This fertilizer company has been around for a very long time. You mix this with uh, a watering can, and the key with uh, everything I'm going to show you is don't overmix it. In other words, go with what's in the bottle. This this one is a couple of caps full for a gallon of water and as you mix it with the hose and put it into the uh, sprinkler uh, can just go ahead and get it nice and wet this is something that I want you to do every couple of weeks you're going to do regular watering in between this but um, this is going to add some nutrients this is a product called Fertilome and it's really popular in the south of, uh, of the country hmm. and it's a fish emulsion now it smells to high heaven it is the stinkiest stuff when you open it don't overdo it with this stuff either just go by what the mix is you'll see when you fill it up it's kind of nasty looking in the uh, container but it works great on your plants it's also very good for if you are doing any transplanting maybe you're moving some hostas around it's really nice to add to that now evergreens these are uh, products or, or plants rather that a lot of people forget about these jobs sticks these fertilizer spikes do a really nice job of slow Low release feeding. They're kind of uh, a compacted, you know, stake hmm. basically, about 30 inches away from the stem. You don't want to be any closer. You put the little cap on and you hammer it into the ground. They have a guide on the package based on how big the uh, trunk is, about how many. And that particular arborvitae that I'm working on, I'm going to put three of them around there. And finally, a lot of people have been planting trees. This is a maple, and trees need a lot of water, but people aren't watering the right way. Put a hose on the tree that you may be planted for an hour with a nice little trickle like that so that that ball gets nice and wet. And this is something I'd like you to do uh, once a week so that it gets uh, really solid water. This is the time of year, even with a lot of rain, uh, you know, if it rains for an hour, it doesn't, because uh, it's spread out, it doesn't get into the root ball. That hose right there for an hour once a week will ensure that that tree that you planted hopefully will uh, really set a nice base before winter comes and pretty soon it's going to be winter. Oh Lou stop it. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay I'm just trying to be helpful. No you are. You are, you are being helpful Lou. Thank you. Listen to Lou on House Smarts Radio Show on WGN Radio on Saturdays from 6 to 10 a.m. and subscribe to his YouTube channel for videos on how to maintain your home. Good to see you Lou. Thank you.